we've made our way to the French Spanish border. There's a massive car for supermarket there where we've gone and picked up a few provisions and used their facilities. And now we've uh, come up to this location. So we found this one. Um, and this will do us until tomorrow when we continue our journey south. And when we wake up and find out exactly where we've parked for the night. What it looks nice. We'll show you a view. We will. Yeah. You can have a before and after view. Okay, let's do a before view. You ready for this? So there's Ian's van there. And then a few lights down there. There are mountains in the distance. Yeah. But tomorrow, we'll show you. So that's definitely a uh, good night from me. And Claire finishes with her. Uh, oh, I see what's going on here. It's me saying good night. Eclairs for Eclair. And you're saying hello. Yes. And me, Milfoy. So we're going to settle down for the evening. You know what time it is, guys. So uh, we're not going to bore you with showing me as the winner again. Although it was a draw last night. Thank you. You're welcome, sweetheart. But we're going to get tucked into a warm cup of tea and coffee, Milfoy and chocolate Eclair. So. Till tomorrow. Good night, bon nuit, and whatever it is in Spanish. Buenas noches. Save me away from home. Cold, frosty morning up here in the uh, foothills of the Pyrenees. What a great little park up. Loads of space here. Get two, three, four vans here easily up in the foothills of the Pyrenees here. Oh dear. On the Spanish side again. So literally from Andorra, we popped into France, <laughs> went to that car for, and then before we knew it, it was back over the border again. No, nothing telling you it was back in Spain. We just uh, just drive through. And the, uh, the road to Barcelona lies down in the valley here, so um, we're not far from that, that road either. But what a lovely park up and what a um, beautiful view to wake up to this morning, that's for sure. So Ian's got his engine running already, uh, <laughs> defrosting the windscreen. <laughs> and I'm about to do the same on Freddy. What a terrific park up and a great view. So the idea for uh, Barcelona is to try and go and find a uh, campsite to reset everything, including ourselves. Been on the road for quite a while now. Um, yeah, if we can get onto a campsite. And the other thing is, because Barcelona is such a major city, we don't really want to leave uh, Freddy just in a normal car park with all our uh, all our belongings inside. So. In that scenario, if you're going into a city, we highly recommend you go into a campsite as close to the city as you can. You've then got the security of the campsite um, whilst you jump on a bus or a train, or that's what we're trying to do, or gonna do. Jump on a bus, jump on a train, and then go and visit the city centre. So engines are running. Freddie just needs to clear his windscreen, and then we'll be, uh, we'll be on the road again. Under the palm trees in the California sun Sand underneath our feet, the morning's just begun I don't remember much from the night before
just from the human touch and now I want more and now my memory slowly coming back cracks a smile upon my face then it all turns black Something about tonight And how it's gonna be your last And now my mind is a mess My heart is pounding Good afternoon fast. I've made one mistake here And that's uh, keeping me jumper on <laughs> So you can guess guys that we have made it We've made it onto a campsite um, just to the north of Barcelona but there's a train just outside the camp gates here that you can get runs past every 20 minutes half an hour straight into the capital so that's what we're going to do that means everything can be kept inside Freddy with what we want um, while we go and explore Barcelona so the beer's out Ian's already set himself up and Claire has already uh... she's relaxing I'd call that <laughs> what you got there Gin made me do it. Gin made you do it. Got a raspberry gin. Very nice. Yeah. Ooh, lovely. We've made a new friend over there. Yeah. Oh, Bruno the dog. He's lovely. He is. And this blue sky and this sunshine is perfect. So there's something about going over the Pyrenees, guys. <laughs> that, <laughs> sorry, Bruno. That um, everyone should give it a go. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Um, and we had no problems in our size van. Uh, motorhome. We did see some. You did see some up there, yeah. Uh, Massive. No. Massive. Yeah, normal motorhomes on our size wheelbase. You'd uh, you'd get up there and enjoy some of what we've seen. Absolutely. <clears throat> and uh, to be fair, we're going down south from Barcelona. But I'm looking forward to going back and exploring more of the Pyrenees, that's for sure. The snow, the mountains... The fresh air and the photography. <laughs> so, Barcelona on this campsite. I'm not going to do a review of the campsite, guys, because I'm not going to recommend you come here. Unless you want to go to Barcelona and use the train. It only takes 20 minutes to get you into the city centre. But other than that, it's not a, um, it's not a pretty campsite. It's not been laid out very well. It's not loved. It's not loved. Completely unloved. And what does that... <clears throat> And what does that do to us? It makes us jealous because you, you look around, you think, God, if this was ours, we'd do this, we'd do that, you know. But right on the seafront, I can see the sea from our pitch, but it is not loved, is it? Yeah. Not loved at all, which is such a shame. Not the best campsite, and they uh, totally pack us in here, as you've just seen. But just for convenience, we're in the city. Certainly better than parking up in town and having your, your van vandalised or broken into and everything stolen. Absolutely. We'll bring you with us, but we won't do too much filming there because it's a big city. And I'm not, not walking around with a camera in front of my face in a big city. You <laughs> love it. Oh, I might do a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. But uh, in the meantime, guys, we're just going to have a relax now after uh, what we've just done. Um, and we're going to sign off for a day or two and we'll pick up with you after we've had a few beers and a few gins and uh, yeah, maybe we'll, we'll pick up with you in Barcelona. I don't know if you could make that out. There's Barcelona in the distance over there. Um, so we just decided to take a walk out of the campsite for a bit, see what's down the road and cross over the main street onto the beach. Just have a quick look. And it's gorgeous. Lovely skyline in the background and a beautiful evening for a little stroll. If not a little bit chilly still. <laughs> We're going south. <laughs> Yeah, it's still a little bit chilly, um, just the drop in temperature from today. Um, but then we were sat outside with our shorts on, so... Um, and I'm not in my big hat and scarf and gloves and everything right now, so... Chilly, yes. Freezing, no. And uh, much better. And yes, 
we're going to head south. Literally a five minute walk from where we where we are staying at the uh, campsite. There's this lovely marina and the train station. So um, really convenient for that walk into uh, Barcelona. But yeah, beautiful place. As you come out of the campsite, it doesn't look that affluent. But as soon as you come along here, you can see there's a little bit of money, which is, uh, <laughs> which is nice. So we're going to carry on having a walk around here. I can see there's bars and restaurants, I think, up here. And uh, we'll have a little quick look. Yeah, a convenient stop for Barcelona. <laughs> See it? So here we are in a stunning, sunny Barcelona. Been along in a Barcelona, Claire and her dad's just gone off for a quick stop. And uh, we're going to go meet up by the cathedral here. So uh, let's have a little look. One of the main attractions in Barcelona is La Sagrada Familia. It is the largest unfinished Catholic church in the world, designed by architect Anthony Gaudi, who combined both Gothic and Art Nouveau forms to produce a church building unlike any other. Tickets start at €36 Euro for entry and an audio guide, increasing to €50 Euro per person if you would also like access to the tower. Come out of Barcelona main town and we've gone over to the marina area which is uh looks bloody fantastic to be fair it's pretty damn good uh the town is massive as, as can be expected on a major city there's loads of quaint little town streets little uh areas you can go on and off of really really cool so we're going to have a look at the marina now and then uh who knows make our way back into town there's a um, place called Rambler, Rambles or something, a street, which is meant to be pretty nice. That church where we looked at, it's pretty cool. But the main, I say the main shopping area is just uh, fantastic and very, very tempting. <laughs> From the look of your eyes, you need to get away. But I'll make you promise me that you'll come back someday. Let's make the most of it I remember what you said Up in the ferries we were kissing in the shades Oh, I wish that you could stay definitely a place to spend more than a couple of hours in Barcelona it's a, a beautiful city <laughs> full of massive boats oh, I love it that's yeah. great yeah I want to come back when you uh, visit these countries Spain and France, I'd love to be able to learn the written language so I could read some of the old 
French and Spanish history books, so I could uh, see their take on some of the um, some of the wars and some of the battles, some of the navy battles. I think it's Christopher Columbus there. I think, not too sure. But, yeah, love to know their take on our history. <laughs> but yeah, definitely a place to come. Absolutely wonderful place. Well guys, we've made it back to the van after a really busy and very fun day in Barcelona. And uh, now it's time for bed. So from me, good night. And from me, good night. And, and from... Good night, YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs>